One of the popular <laughs> ideas about who Paul is is that he is this conceited, cocky man. Hello everyone and welcome to the Coziest Couch Conversations with Morgan Ollie. This is cozy. <laughs> Are you cozy? Yeah. You're in jeans and you're still wearing your shoes, so I don't see how anyone could be the comfy. The shoes are coming off. Thank you. Guys, this is episode one. Are you honored? Yes. To be the first guest? Yes. In this new little series that I'm starting, which I've barely even started my vlog and I'm already starting a series. That is initiative. <laughs> Hopefully. Um, we're going to be bringing on guests from all over the universe and having just cozy conversations with them. I want them to be cozy, comfortable, so that I can ask them very uncomfortable questions. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What, <laughs> what did I sign up for? Ask me very uncomfortable questions? Yeah, but don't worry. You're going to be comfortable, so it's fine. I, I was thinking it was going to be like, you know, we're going deep and raw, but un you're specifically going for the uncomfortable. All right. I better sit Indian style. <laughs> Not every question is going to be uncomfortable. And I'm hoping as the series continues, you guys watching will begin to get the idea and like vibe of this series. And you'll start sending in your questions that you want me to ask people. Mm. Um, and questions may vary for the person that I'm bringing bringing on. Of course, of course. So I'll be announcing on Instagram maybe like a few days before I film to like say, hey guys, like what questions would you like me to ask this blah, person? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. yeah. I didn't do that for Paul because I came up with my own questions for him. <laughs> I am going to be asking you the questions that everyone wants answered. I don't know if that's true. Anyways, let's get into this. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, make sure you subscribe. Because we're making... Christian wrong channel. No, I don't really have that type of slogan on this channel, babe <laughs> Just subscribe to this channel. We're gonna keep doing fun videos and having a great time get to know one another. Let's help you have hope No <clears throat> Here we go. Who are you? Who am I? My name is Paul Abraham Olegas. I'm 31 years old a white Caucasian <laughs> male from Kentucky. How tall are you? Six one and a half. What made you decide YouTube was the route that you wanted to go? I don't know <laughs> Stop. I looked at YouTube as a place where I could put out content and it had potential of reaching a lot of people. That is a good feeling to me. There's no limit. Mm -hmm. And it's a very social platform. I just I enjoy that aspect. So whether I'm putting out really deep spiritual faith-based videos or purely entertainment videos, I can connect and build an audience and build a community. And so that's, I think, what I saw the potential. What has been the hardest thing for you to handle in like being in charge of this very large community? Because you are in charge of it. You lead it. You're the head of it. <laughs> I think the hardest thing, and it's not like always hard, but it is a challenge that will weigh on me sometimes is the content. What's the direction of the content? What's the video we're gonna put out for this week? And I always tend to think into the future. So it's like, okay, we got one for this week, but what about a month from now? That can weigh on you. I wanna get views, but I want people to really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Appreciate the content. And when you do YouTube for so long, you do like worry, what if I, you know, is the content becoming repetitive? What if I don't have more content? Like I run out of ideas. Fortunately, with the new direction, it does feel a little more like hot topics. Things are happening and we can talk about those things. So it's a little bit of a different game in a good way. Yeah. With the platform that you've created and the videos that we've put out, <laughs> we and you have received backlash a good amount of t times <laughs> um, for videos that we've put out and 
we get comments, a good amount, and messages of just people kind of, like, going ahead and perceiving, like, you as a person just from what they've taken from certain videos. And these are people who maybe are not actually willing to try to get to know you, really know you, or try to get to know me. But maybe some of them are, and they still feel this way. So. Sure. One of the popular <laughs> ideas about who Paul is is that he is this conceited, cocky man. And I want to know why do you think people think that about you? When I think of the negative comments and hate comments that we've gotten specifically against me. Is that a trend? Do you feel like that's a trend? That's the messages that I get from people that are like, why would you ever marry oh. such a con selfish, conceitful man or conceited man? And I'm just like, what? <laughs> what is your idea of like what they think about you? Um, a lot of people say, Paul, they they, they <laughs> play the, the gay card. Okay, well, there's that too, yeah. And say, Paul, go find a man. I've probably had that more than anything else. Yeah, probably. But uh, ever since the Jacqueline Glenn video, that created a lot more of people saying, Morgan, you need to get out of there, that relationship, because Paul <laughs> is emotionally abusive, all that stuff. So I guess that now has kind of given people a stigma of Paul is, yeah, controlling and Paul is mm -hmm. abusive. And selfish. And so, so I guess that probably could tie into like the, that he's, he's proud and conceited. Mm -hmm. And yeah, and I guess even before Jacqueline Glenn, some people would get on there because I, I sometimes will, you know, I'll like be getting goofy and I'll like kiss my bicep. <laughs> kiss it, kiss it. Or. Yes. Uh, that is definitely one of the things uh, that you do. And Paul and Morgan, Morgan Show. shirts like that and then i think sometimes i'll wear like you know deep v-necks and that kind of throws people for a loop because they say paul you're supposed to be modest <laughs> this is button pretty high this is button too high oh no he's <laughs> letting loose he's getting real comfortable guys you know i think since the beginning of youtube i've seen and felt so much like i've seen so many different comments that I have gotten pretty good at being like, all right, I just don't give much time to it. Yeah. If I see it, whatever, yeah. move on. Um, <laughs> so yeah, the like attacks against me, they really don't. They don't. They don't get to me. They really don't. I can speak as his wife and a woman who lives with him every single day of his life. I don't think I've ever seen that get to you. There have been a few times, like say in the last two months. A couple times maybe where I'll read a comment and it will hit me a little bit hmm. but that it hasn't necessarily I don't think any of them have been attacks against me they've been more like challenging our perspective challenging our stance on something and that you know when you have a person or a decent amount of people comment on a video and saying you guys are wrong or like you know you guys should be ashamed of this view that can become a little heavy and I'll, I'll, I'll tend to think about our stance, why we believe that. And uh, yeah, so that's more of what'll get to me than just an attack on me. Mm -hmm. And probably because like, I'm just confident in who I am and I'm confident that I have people that I trust that will call me out. So people telling me that I'm actually gay and just don't <laughs> accept that or I'm conceited or emotionally abusive and all that like, Mm -hmm. right. So, you don't care that people think you're conceited and full of yourself? Uh, <laughs> not really. I give you permission if you feel like, Paul, <laughs> you, you're you coming across conceited. I, yeah. Or, Paul, I feel like you're conceited. Well, we need to work on this. <laughs> all right, by all means, let's, let's go and I'll take it before the Lord. It's funny because... I can see why people would think that in some of our videos, like he's like he said, like him kissing his biceps or like saying something goofy or whatever, like purposefully acting kind of cocky. And it's just like, I know that he's like a thousand percent joking, but people that are watching and don't know Paul are like, didn't oh someone, my goodness, didn't, this guy. I, I personally feel, and I could be wrong, but I feel like if someone watches our channel and already maybe dislikes yeah. our conservative Christian mm -hmm. perspectives. We say stuff that's kind of hard to hear sometimes. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying it's like always right, but we, we go there. 
So if you're already coming in disliking what we're saying, then it'll be easier to find things you don't like about our personality or our character or the way we're coming across. So I tend to think most of the people that are leaving or commenting or like that are saying, Paul just seems so cocky and condescending or whatever, they probably don't like what I'm saying. They don't like the message Yeah. most of the time. Yeah. That was one of the reasons I like was drawn to him was because he was very like willing to hear people out and like listen to your advice like if Paul and I ever get into an argument I tell him what my issue is and like I know that he hears me and that he's gonna work on whatever I'm like saying he needs to work on don't get me wrong guys I know there's stuff that I'm working on like there if, if someone might say like I think Paul comes across this way and it might be very well correct, and I am going to the Lord saying, like, Lord, really help me in this area. Okay, well, how does it make you feel when you see your wife, me, crying or hurt from videos or things people have said? How does that feel? Yeah, how does it make you feel? I think with my ADHD and learning disabilities, I don't really feel. <laughs> so that helps. <laughs> that helps quite a bit. That's true, guys. <laughs> Honestly, so true. <laughs> I think my feeling um, radar, and I, that was kind of a joke, you guys. That was kind of a joke. But my feeling <laughs> emotion radar, like I definitely feel. I definitely have emotions, but I think it's not maybe normal. It's not. It's not. I think like, and I'm, I'm in the end, it really has been the best thing for us and for me because I think if I had a husband that like every time I like broke down or cried because someone said something mean to me like he got like super aggressive and was like I'm gonna kill whoever said that or like something weird like that was just super aggressive about it I think it would probably make me like worse it wouldn't bring me closer to god because like that's not necessarily god's response don't get me wrong if people are picking on my wife <laughs> you better stop it <laughs> well face to face online you can't do a lot right and that's where kind of what we're talking about right yeah well, i mean you know i say that but there is a spiritual virtue in right not that. yeah getting up in arms every time and not getting hurt all the time the bible says something along the lines of you know, blessed are the righteous, nothing shall offend them. Mm -hmm. And so it's like, like you take the offense out of it, like that person said that, aren't you offended? No, I'm okay. That is to say, when I notice that something is really heavy on you, it does. It's, it's, it's difficult for me and I will try to come in and bring peace in a gentle, nurturing way. But I will encourage you a lot of the time, as you know, as you've felt, I'll encourage you <laughs> to be strong and stick it out yeah. rather than crumbling yeah well and that's made me grow so much i mean when we first started this youtube channel i remember the first time that we got like opposition over a video that we posted at the very beginning it wasn't even like a super controversial video but some people that we actually knew personally like came at us and like it broke me yeah and so and that was hard to see that yeah. was hard that was hard but but yeah like now you know it doesn't happen as often it's actually pretty rare that i get like upset over it she has come such a long way guys Praise i mean the Lord. really such a long way but i would say that it was because of just the example that i've had in paul to see that he does not get offended over basically anything and like it like pray like god knew exactly what he was doing when he gave me paul because he was gonna teach me a lot of things through him <laughs> Oh no, I'm making it more conceited. It's going straight to my head. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me more. <laughs> what is one thing you wish people understood about you in the work we do here on YouTube, the Paul and Morgan channel? I wish that they understood, and this is more having to do with the last couple months since we did the direction change with our channel. I wish they could see and understand that our goal really is to have a conversation about it. Yeah, Morgan and I will tell you how we feel. We get kind of fiery, but our goal when we set out to make the video is to just talk about it. I wish that you guys would not, on, over on our other channel, feel like Paul and Morgan are acting like experts or we're going to treat them like experts. You guys said this, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> we're not wanting to be that right uh -oh. now. We don't claim to be experts, hopefully. Um, no. We want to be able to talk about really any hot topic issue 
and you guys just know that these are just two Christians that are sharing where they're at with it. What's one thing you wish people knew about you? About me? I feel like I come across pretty well myself. Obviously, this is a little bit more chill than being up, you know, on the... Yeah, and it's funny because this is what I'm more used to. Like, this is more you on a regular basis. But when we get in front of the camera for Paul and Morgan channel, but that's the you, thing, you though. do turn on a different side, still you. Yeah, you're right. But a more... Guys, I love to entertain. Yes. And so if I feel like, like that's just, it's deep down. So oftentimes, like, it just comes out when I'm up on a stage, when I'm blah, blah, blah. I love that. Mm -hmm. So getting to be... <laughs> Yeah, like engage with you guys on our YouTube channel. It just gives me an opportunity to maybe take the passion and entertainment up a little more. Yeah. That is me as well. But yeah, like when we're sitting here on a couch, it's uh, it's nice and chill. It's nice and chill. Yeah, <laughs> it's still entertaining. I yeah. think. Hope you guys think. Comment below. Let us know if this if was you entertaining. Guys need to be more entertained. I got you. <laughs> Paul Abraham Oligus yes, of Lexington, Kentucky. That's right. Thank you for joining us. Put her there. Here on the coziest couch conversations with Morgan Ollie. You are a very good host. Thank you. I think you are a good first guest. I hope this gives you guys an idea of like the type of questions I want to ask people. And if you guys have ideas of like types of people that I should bring on to the coziest couch combos, let me know in the comments below. But also comment below and let me know what was your favorite question we asked Mr. Paul Oligus. Did you learn anything new about this guy? Have we changed your mind about him? Do you actually love him now? You like started this video hating him despising him and now you're obsessed with him in all the right ways <laughs> give this video a thumbs up if you're enjoying the coziest couch conversations with morgan ollie thank you guys for watching we love you i love you hope you have a great rest of your day and remember jesus and be free <laughs> and remember jesus is the answer bye you guys let's go